Hello, Todd Owens here with you again. Welcome to this edition of Cavium's Intelligent IO Matters. In this video, I'm going to take less than three minutes to explain to you what RDMA is and why it's important to HPE customers. In today's IT environment, it's all about speed. How fast can the applications go and how quick of a response can users get from those applications and database queries? Companies rely on this speed to use IT as a competitive edge. If we look at networking I.O., we can speed up the performance of the network by reducing the latency. One way to do this is by implementing remote direct memory access or RDMA enabled I.O. adapters. RDMA speeds up the applications by bypassing the software kernel in the host OS and allowing I.O. transactions to be executed directly between the adapter and the application memory. Be aware there are different kinds of RDMA protocols, each with different benefits and challenges. RDMA over converged Ethernet, or Rocky, uh, as its name implies, requires converged or lossless Ethernet to work. Now, this provides the lowest latency uh, of all the RDMA protocols. However, because Rocky requires this lossless Ethernet, this means you need more expensive hardware and it can be susceptible to congestion issues relating to uh, pause frames. And this makes scalability beyond one or two hops really a challenge. Rocky V2, also known as Routable Rocky, adds IDP and UDP headers to each packet, making them routable across multiple subnets. But again, the scalability issues inherent to converged Ethernet still apply. iWarp is the third type of RDMA in use today and runs over standard Ethernet topology without requiring lossless connectivity. This makes it more suited for scalable environments. However, the latency is slightly higher than the Rocky implementations as a result. At Cavium, we believe that applications shouldn't have to decide between one or the other types of RDMA protocol, and thus Cavium technology is universal. The HPE adapters listed here support Cavium's universal RDMA technology that can run Rocky or iWarp RDMA concurrently. Here's a look at those adapters in a little bit more detail. There are two 10G base T options and two 1025 gig SFP28 connectivity options available for HPE Proliant and Apollo servers. They're supported by all the major operating systems and they're also certified by Microsoft with their Software Defined Data Center Premium Certification. So in summary, if you need to go fast, use RDMA. And Cavium Ethernet makes RDMA universal for HPE customers. The bottom line is IO matters and Cavium makes it matter for HPE. Thanks for your time and attention and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.